over the internet. So, um, while playing uh, the uh, newest alpha of Generation Zero, I got this crazy idea. Because, uh, as you may or may not know, you can get a Dratini from Sam's uh, mother uh, during that um, alpha, and uh, you can later, of course, when you battle him, use that same Dratini. And I thought, what if he actually was to recognize that Dratini and comment on it? Of course, as, uh, as it's been said in uh, that demo that that routine is only for that alpha, just for its uh, demos, it will not be in the final game, but still it was a thought experiment and I worked on implementing a mechanic that will allow for a feature that he could react on it. So uh, let me show you. So first off, we visit the um, Pokemon Center here in Testopia, and um, let's see, I added a funny new plant here. <laughs> this uh, Mr. Leaf wants to get rid of something, and that something is a caterpillar named uh, Leaf Eater. <laughs> now, this Leaf Eater has the um, original trainer named Mr. Leaf, which is the name of this uh, plant. So, um, while I have this, uh, this Leaf Eater in my Pokemon party, and uh, once again talk to Mr. Leaf here, he will react. <laughs> and um, if I go and store this um, beast in the storage system here, and talk to him again, yeah, he just reacts. I guess a normal houseplant. <laughs> All right. Now just to demonstrate. Ooh. Withdraw. Leaf eater. There we go. <laughs> and talk to him. <laughs> and once again. He's a friend of the beast. <laughs> right. So uh, this is a feature that will um, check the original trainer of any Pokemon. So if I had any other Pokemon uh, from this Mr. Leaf, he would react the exact same way. So uh, yeah. That's one part of the feature. Now of course uh, you could have uh, many Pokemon from the same trainer. Or maybe even something that's not from a foreign trainer, but maybe your, yourself. But it's something special about the Pokemon, so you need to keep track of it. So that other other players, uh, NPCs, can react to it. So I find a way to register the, um, the uh, well, Pokemon ID of each Pokemon. So if I talk to this um, mad scientist there... He found some um, trash the other day, and yeah, he'll give it to me, an experimental Pokemon. Now, of course, this experimental Pokemon is um, none other than Shelly the Magikarp, which is a shiny Pokemon caught with a Master Ball at level 3, <laughs> and it belongs to a Veronica. And, uh, yeah, Veronica is a uh, character that I have just reused for this uh, feature. If you have watched some of my earlier videos, you may know her as, uh, well, the IV checker. So I'm going to talk to her with this, uh, this Pokemon. 
<laughs> in my party, she reacts. And yeah. <laughs> and I will of course refuse to give her a Pokemon right away. <laughs> yeah, that is mean. And um just to prove it works, I will I will of course store this Pokemon. <laughs> and she would just react normally as she did on the original feature she was built for so uh, she would just tell the IVs of the Pokemon and uh, let's go retrieve that Magikarp once again And withdraw. Share the magic orb. <laughs> All right. Um, let's be kind to her and give her back the Pokemon. There we go. So. No more Shell of the Magic Arp. <laughs> and she's back to normal. So, uh, that's about it. Um, I do not know how uh, TBC will implement this in uh, Generation Zero because it's, well, it's my idea, so we didn't actually have any. Uh, plans for it, so we'll see how we does this. Because, well, I think this is pretty awesome. <laughs> Especially if it does it this way. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I will see you next time I come up with something. <laughs> or work with something, or... Nah. <laughs> uh, it's 1am here, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Good night, everyone.